Sonnet 138 by William Shakespeare, 1564 to 1616. When my love swears that she is made of truth, I do believe her, though I know she lies. That she might think me some untutored youth, unlearned in the world's full subtleties. Thus vainly thinking that she thinks me young, although she knows my days are past the best, simply I credit her full speaking tongue. On both sides thus is simple truth suppressed, but wherefore says she not she is unjust, and wherefore say not I that I am old? O oh, love's best habit is in seeming trust, and age in love loves not to have years told. Therefore I lie with her, and she with me, and in our faults by lies we flattered be. So this is a sonnet by William Shakespeare, the Bard of Stratford upon Avon, and the theme of this sonnet is lying and relationships and he's saying that the relationship between him and the dark lady his mistress is a relationship based on lies um, and the fact that they pretend to believe each other's lies um, and this may sounds very complicated but each of them feels flattered that the other one believes their lies and this is the basis of their relationship no matter how um, strange a, a, a basis it is it, it, this is what it's based on um, he believe he pretends to believe that she is um, faithful to him and that she doesn't take other other lovers and she pretends to believe that he is still young she pretends to think that he's still young when it's very clear he's not he's getting older and um, they both like the fact that the other one believes their lies or believes this lie when my love swears that she is made of truth I do believe her though I know she lies so when my love swears that she's made of truth when she swears that she is true that she swears that she's faithful that she doesn't take other lovers I pretend to believe her though in reality I know that she is lying so I pretend to believe her and the reason is that she might think me some untutored youth unlearned in the world's full subtleties so that like that she thinks that I'm uh, a youth that I'm not a, a young naive youth that I don't understand the subtleties of the world the full subtleties of the world and that I'm some uh, young person some greenhorn who doesn't understand the ways of the world that uh, this is the way of the world and for her it's being false being unfaithful is the way of the world so he pretends to believe her so that she will believe that he is young thus vainly thinking that she thinks me young and like this I can exercise my vanity I can feel good about myself because wow this lady she thinks I'm young she feels that I'm young it's not true he knows it but it makes him feel good and I think it makes her feel good that she believes he, he believes her lies that he believes that she is uh, um, a, a, a modest false chaste lady so thus vainly thinking that she thinks me young although she knows my days are past the best so she knows that I'm, pa I'm past my best that I'm not young anymore I'm getting old yeah I'm past my prime simply I credit her full speaking tongue so to explain this simply I just 
believe her, I pretend to believe her. On both sides, thus, is simple truth suppressed. So both of us, we ignore the simple truth. She ignores the truth that I'm not young anymore. And I ignore the fact that she's not faithful. She's not a faithful mistress. But wherefore says she not she is unjust? But how, um, what, what in this is... Um, uh, it is wrong. Um, what? Why doesn't she admit that that she lies? Yeah. Why doesn't she just admit that she's lying? And why doesn't she just say that? Yeah, I'm I'm old. Why don't I admit that I'm old? Um, and wherefore say not I that I am old? So, wherefore says says she? not she is unjust so what why does she do, she not admit she's lying and why don't i admit that i'm old that i'm getting old oh love's best habit is in seeming trust because the best thing about love or one of the best things about love is pretending to trust one another and I think maybe this is quite quite a good nugget of uh, truth in uh, relationships. Um, maybe you pr um, uh, pretend to trust each other. You put faith in each other. You outwardly show that you trust each other. And that's part of maintaining the relationship. And age in love loves not to have years told. And being old when you're in love, well, it, you don't like to have people reveal your age, reveal the fact that you're getting old. Yeah, so in love, you don't like people, to, your lovers to know how, that you're actually getting old. Therefore, I lie with her and she with me. And this is, I think this is very good because this is, I think, a double entendre. Um, I lie to her, I tell her lies, and she lie, tells lies to me. But I lie with her, we go to bed together. I lie with her physically and she lies with me uh, physically, but also mentally. And in our faults, by lies, we flattered be. And as a result of this, um, despite our faults, um, these lies make us feel flattered. Yeah, so um, the, uh, the the fact that each of the each of us are lying to the other make makes each of us feel flattered, feel good about it. So the relationship is based on them lying to each other, which makes each of them feel better about themselves, better about their insecurities. I think. Shakespeare has an inse insecurity that he's getting old and this is something you see all the way through his sonnets and the dark lady perhaps has a um uh, a, 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 a the insecurity that she should be a chaste woman she should be someone else she should be faithful but well it's not the way she is so enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Sonnet 138 by William Shakespeare.